Welcome to .NET Conf 2021. I'm Scott Hunter, the VP of Product at Microsoft on Azure and .NET, and I'm excited to be here today to share all the cool things that we built with the community and .NET 6. First off, .NET 6 is a unified platform. That's one SDK, one runtime, one set of base libraries to build all these crazy app types, whether it's cloud, web, desktop, mobile, gaming, IoT, or AI. Once you've learned .NET and you build one of these workloads, you can then build all of them with the same skills. And it goes beyond that. We also have amazing tools. You can use Visual Studio family of tools to build .NET applications with .NET 6. If you want to use a cross-platform editor like VS Code, you can do that. If you want to drop down to the CLI and do everything from the terminal, you can do that. .NET is very flexible. We have an amazing ecosystem of packages, thousands and thousands of packages out there uh, that you can build your apps with. There's a ton of amazing projects in GitHub, and there's an amazing group of component vendors and stuff that build tech on top of .NET. That, so it's a huge ecosystem, completely unified in .NET 6. Now let's talk about the momentum of our ecosystem. We have over 5.4 million developers using .NET every day in the Visual Studio family of tools. We have been the most loved framework in the Stack Overflow Developer Survey for three years in a row. And the Cloud Native Foundation measures the highest velocity projects in GitHub. And you're going to see that .NET has been in the top 30 for many, many years. Now, even cooler, we have over 6.9K community contributors outside of Microsoft that have contributed over 21,000 contributions. And so that's an amazing effort considering that we only open source.net back in 2014. Um, and so I want to step back and say thank you to all of those contributors for helping us drive .NET forward. Oh, I lost the slide. Button stuck. Okay, so thank you to all those contributors. Next, .NET and performance. So one of the key tenets of .NET, once we reinvented it back in 2016, has been performance. The reason you should build your applications on .NET is they're going to be the fastest. They're going to run the lowest cost in the cloud. And you can see here, we're still doing really, really well in the Tech Empower benchmark. It's a public benchmark. You can see that we're 10 times faster than Node.js. Your app's going to run very, very fast. But I'm really excited about what we've done in .NET 6. If you look here, Entity Framework Core Performance. That's our ORM built into .NET for doing data access. And you can see it's 92% faster than it was in .NET 5. That's a huge, huge leap in performance. On query performance, it's 36% faster. And what's really cool, if you take this Tech Empower benchmark and you take .NET, you take ASP.NET Core, and you take EF Core, put them all together, well, that's the first full stack ORM, we show up as number two in that benchmark. And so that just shows you, building a real application with a web, data, and .NET is going to save you. Now let's talk about some of the cool features that we have in .NET 6. First off, I want to lead in and say, go download it now. There's a URL right here, get.NET slash 6, and you can grab that to grab the newest bits. But as I mentioned before, we've got this unified common base libraries and SDKs to build all those app types. We have industry-leading performance. Um, we have simplified development. You know, if you look at development today with things like Python and Node, they, they, they make development start, starting easier. And you're going to see a lot of demos today where we show you how we made .NET 6 the easiest to build new applications with. We've got great new releases of C Sharp and F Sharp. We've got support for Apple Silicon, uh, M1 chip support. And this is a long-term support release. So you can trust it and trust .NET. 